Okay, hello everybody. It is me, Clara, or as you know me from TikTok, Clara00 Ellis. It is good to be back on YouTube. I took a bit of a break, uh, not for many specific reasons. I've just been really busy. Um, but my video today is a little bit different. I'm not doing anything uh, funny or dumb or stupid. I'm just talking about my viral infamous TikTok. I feel like we all know which one I'm talking about. If you follow me on TikTok, Instagram, or here, I'm sure you have seen it. Uh, tons of people have seen it. 25 million to be exact, and the number is growing every day. Um, you know, so yeah, uh, before we get into it, I will play the video for you just in case you forgot so I can refresh your memory and then get into what I would like to talk about concerning this video. That's the video. Um, why do I want to talk about the video? Because there was quite a bit of, I don't want to say controversy, it wasn't that serious, but there's a lot of things that people said about the video that I wanted to talk about. I have put off making this video for as long as I can. It just keeps coming up in my head. I'm like, I really have some things I want to say that I feel like I didn't cover on TikTok that I can cover here. So if you're here, you know, stick around because I have lots and lots of things to say about this video. Um, I'm just gonna get right into it. So the comments on this video were very mixed. There was plenty of you know, thirsty dudes, I guess. And there was plenty of girls who were hyping me up, calling me beautiful, which was so sweet. And I appreciate every one of them. It really made my day. And then there was a load of the comments with the little fish, you know, like fishing, compliment fishing. And there was a load of comments saying that I had no right to be insecure, that I was lying about being insecure and disliking my body. Um, that it wasn't okay for me to feel that way about myself, that I was the beauty standard, they didn't believe me, they didn't care what I had to say, and that I was causing a problem with my video. So, the first thing I wanna talk about is those comments. Um, when I posted the video, I didn't intend for it to be viral or anything. My following is mostly male, which I understand, I'm fine with that. That's you know, I love you all, like, thank you for following me and supporting me. So I knew that if I posted a video uh, with bikini pictures, I was sure there would be some, you know, feedback on it because of my, who my following is, which I always appreciate. Um, but I didn't expect it to blow up on the scale that it did. I thought max it would probably get like 500,000 views because most of my videos like that typically get that number. I do have videos in the millions. Uh, that's perfectly normal for me. I'm always grateful, but it's not something I'm ever shocked by. Well, when I went to bed, it was at like a million something views and I was like, dang, like she's really getting up there. Like I'm sure when I wake up in the morning, it's, it'll be calmed down. And I wake up to like 7 million and I was like, oh my God, this is going to be a thing. Like, cause I was already seeing some of the negative comments. I was like, this is going to be a thing. It's okay. Um, it's at 25 million point something now continuously growing and I want to talk about the negative comments so let's get into it um, I had a lot of comments saying I had no right to be insecure I was lying about hating my body I wasn't terrified to post these pictures because I said in the title that I was terrified to post them that's the first thing I want to talk about the title okay let's just like dig into that really quick uh, I said I hated my body which is true, <laughs> and we'll get into that in more detail later. I said, I called the pictures sacred, that was a joke, um, but I called them sacred because when I can look back and see those pictures, I can find a piece of myself that recognizes that I am beautiful, which most days um, I refuse to believe that I am. So looking at those pictures kind of reminds me, so they are sacred to me, I love them. So I made a joke calling them sacred. It didn't have any uh, serious meaning to it or anything. I think a lot of people took that too literally. Um, and then I had said I was terrified to post them. And a lot of people didn't like that I said that. A lot of people said I was lying. They had seen those pictures on my page before. They had, you know, they, I, there was no way I was terrified to post those. Why would I post them if I was? 
What I mean by that, that I didn't share in the moment because I didn't think I needed to, was I originally posted those pictures in the summer of 2021 on my private Instagram, which is just for my friends and family. And I was terrified to post them on Instagram because I had never posted bikini pictures before. Those were the first bikini pictures, bathing suit pictures, the most revealing pictures I had ever posted on my Instagram for my friends and family. So yeah, it was really nerve wracking. I was very nervous to post them. I was terrified to see if people were gonna be texting me about them, saying things about them, because that's happened before. Like literally when I posted them, I didn't get on my phone for like hours because I was really nervous to see if there was some negative feedback to it. But when I did get on my Instagram later that day, I saw that everyone was being super nice, you know, the girls that are my friends were commenting on it, you know, hyping me up, which felt so nice. And I was really happy that I, that was kind of lifted off my shoulders and I was like, okay. So that did make me more comfortable with posting the bikini pictures. And I know a lot of girls struggle with posting bikini pictures because it's like you look at them and you're like, dang, like, I really feel beautiful in these. Like, look at my body. Like, I look good and you feel really confident in them. But at the same time, it's like posting them you want to but also you don't know if you should that's what I meant by that um it, w it was months after I finally posted them on my private that they came over to my public Instagram which all of you follow or my TikTok so when I said I was terrified to post them I wasn't really talking about TikTok or my public Instagram I was talking about originally months before in the summer there's that um, the comments about my body saying I had no right to be insecure were completely ridiculous, okay? Ridiculous. That's just like a whole nother thing I want to get into. I don't want to drag it out too much. I don't want to be too soapy and, you know, weird about it. But I do have lots of things to say about it that I don't know if I can fully share right now. Just because uh, it's not the kind of content that you guys like to see from me. The serious side of like my mental health and uh, issues with my body that I've had in the past and currently. Um, that's something that you guys don't care about. So I don't know if I want to share completely. But I will get into it a little bit. Um, I think anyone can be insecure. Um, your favorite celebrities have all been insecure at some point, which is why they look like how they do now. They look so hot now because at one point in time, even though they were so beautiful before, they were insecure and got surgeries, things like that, which I fully, completely support. You know, if you want to get a cosmetic surgery so that you are happier with yourself, with your image, you feel more confident, you feel beautiful, it improves your state of life, I am 100 percent behind that like literally you go do it you know get it you know whatever like feel beautiful I don't care and I think that's great for you as long as you're safe be safe don't abuse your body and you're good but like your favorite celebrities have all been insecure at one point like Kylie Jenner she's the perfect example if you look at young Kylie when she was fairly thin um she was beautiful she was literally stunning she was modeling she was an icon at her age she was gorgeous but yet she was insecure enough to want to completely and totally change her image and her body. And my, I mean, most of that has to do with the Kardashian brand. But at the same time, you have to understand that even the most beautiful people can still have insecurities. And I think because I am not a celebrity or anything like that, people don't allow me to, you know, feel insecure. Because if it's a celebrity, they can sympathize, they can support them, but if it's just some random girl on TikTok who has a body that you like, you cannot allow her to be insecure, which is completely and totally bullshit. So, enough, <laughs> please. Oh, God. Um, another thing with my body that I found very funny and interesting was so many of you guys said I had a BBL. Babe, I swear, if I had a BBL, I would have been flaunting that. I would have told everybody I got a BBL like mm, that's that's flex to me that's flex um no I never had a BBL I've always just gained more weight in my chest and my hips that's literally it I swear to god I have had a curvier figure since uh like seventh grade so which has caused me a lot of problems but I will get into the more serious aspect later if you care 
Um, no, I haven't had a BBL. But the people commenting and saying I have had a BBL, thank you. That is a really sweet compliment. If you think my body looks nice enough to have been paid for, I appreciate it. Um, which I tried to reply to all of those comments. I would never reply to comments saying I had a BBL in like a rude way. Like, no, I haven't had a BBL. Like, what's the problem in having a BBL? Like, if you want to act like that's a problem, then th that's just not very nice. That's body shaming people who have had a BBL, and I ain't about that. So I would just simply reply to your comments and say, like, thanks for the compliment. Like, I don't know. Like, I haven't had a BBL. I'm only 19, almost 20, and I know people have BBLs at this young age, but no, I haven't had one. I've always wanted one. I still want one. Not so much for the crazy, like, overdone BBL look, but kind of like slim down my waist, thicken up my thighs, I guess. I don't know. I, I would like to have one. That's never going to happen, but thing to think about but no to answer your question I've never had a BBL I would tell you like if I end up getting any kind of cosmetic surgery I'm gonna be showing you guys everything because that's just so interesting to me and why would I want to hide that that's not a big deal it's not something to hide I don't understand that um so the comments they were they was wild and out there was y'all thirsty little boys some of those comments were weird. Um, people were saying that I was deleting comments, which is correct, I was, but I wasn't deleting the comments that you think I was deleting. Um, I didn't delete the comments like, you know, kind of bashing me um, unless they were super extreme. I can think of a couple in my head um, that were really, I mean, there's a lot of rude comments, which comments don't phase me. But a couple of them were just extremely over the top, very, very disrespectful, maybe very inappropriate or just too much um, that I would delete because I was just like, I don't really want to look at this and I don't want this on my page. Like, it's that simple. Not because I was like too bothered by it or anything. I just didn't want to look at it. I was like, yeah, this isn't going on my page. Um, so yeah, that's true. I did delete a couple. For the most part, though, I just left all of them, you know. I didn't really reply to most of the rude ones. Or, you know, sometimes I will try to in a nice way, but also I am kind of petty. So I might have been rude to some of them, but I just, I find that fun, personally. So if I was rude to your comment, I honestly just found it fun. Don't take it personally. Um, so the comments, they were wild and out. And I have a couple things to address about a few topics in those comments, okay? Okay, let's move on. Okay, this is where I'm gonna talk about the duets and stitches that I got on the video. I got hundreds, hundreds of duets, stitches, like anything. They were all different, they were all weird. Some of them were really sweet. Um, so, you know, on one aspect we had like creepy 60 year old men making weird duets and I was like, uh, I'm not feeling this. On the other end, we had really, really, really sweet girls duetting or stitching my video, hyping me up, calling me beautiful, which was so precious. And I watched every single girl's video and read every single sweet comment from every girl. And I appreciate you so much. That was so sweet. You guys are angels. I love you. And that, I would appreciate that. I would comment on those videos and be like, oh my gosh, you know, like you're so sweet. Because they really did like make my day, make my moment. Like they were so sweet. You had girls stitching it who were pressed, of course. Uh, there wasn't a lot of that, but there were some that didn't like my video. And I didn't usually comment on any of those. I'd just be like, watch them, and I'm like, okay, moving on. Um, and then you have guys my age making weird videos, and I was like, yeah, this is weird. But there was two that really stuck out to me. So I'm going to talk about those. First one that I saw, it wasn't a stitch or a duet. It was just a TikTok that she had made um, mimic mimicking, mocking my video. Um, I'm not going to put up her video or her username because I really don't want anyone to like send any kind of mean comments or hate towards her. That's not my intentions at all. So I'm, if you've seen her video, you know, you can rewatch it. But I don't want to talk, like, put her out there just because, you know, 
for her privacy. You know, I don't want to be rude. Um, she made a video mocking me. Uh, she did the same trend I did. And in the beginning, uh, her wording, I don't really remember what it was. It was like me hating, it was probably the same thing I said, honestly, me hitting my body and then I remember these pics. In the beginning, she was like making like, you know, a fake like sad face or whatever, like, mm, feel bad for me, you know, mimicking me. And she put up bikini pictures of herself, heavily edited on purpose as the joke, you know, very obviously like Photoshop to make her waist really small, her butt really big, mocking me. And I don't necessarily know if she was trying to mock the fact that she thinks I Photoshop, and I don't know if it was that or she was just mocking my body in general. Either way, it's the same. Um, and when I first saw it, I didn't really know how to feel about it too much. I was just like, should I be mad? Should I be upset? Should my feelings be hurt? I didn't really feel too much about it. And I was like, well, I wonder what she's like saying about it. So I read her comments like a little bit. There was quite a few, so I didn't really read like that many of them. Uh, but yeah, she was really rude in the comments, honestly. Like she was like making fun of me in the comments. And I was like, okay, like I was going to be nice and just like, you know, maybe like comment and be like, oh my gosh, this is so funny or whatever. Like, you know, be really lighthearted about it because I get it. Like, you know, you want to make jokes, like it's fine. But when I saw her comments that were like so uh, like negative about me, trying to make jokes about me, be funny about me, I was like, okay, uh, yeah, I ain't down with this anymore. There was another video. This one I found interesting. It was a boy. Um, same exact thing. He stitched my video and he was like, oh, I'm so insecure, you know don't compliment me, like me, you know, making fun of the fact that I was compliment fishing. Then he literally, like, there was so many, like, really fucked up comments and stuff, and he was, like, liking them, responding to them, leaving them up. And then, like, he had the audacity to go comment on one of my videos and was like, thanks for getting me to my first mill. Sorry people were so rude to you. And I replied back, and I was like, if you're so sorry that people were rude, why don't you just, like, delete the comments? And then he was like, there was too many, there, there was no point in it. I'm like, okay, well then delete the video. Like, his whole point of the video was to be rude. Like, what kind of comments did you expect? And I checked his page today, and I can't find it. So I think he deleted it or got taken down. And I can't find his comment on my video either, so I don't really know what happened to it, but it's okay. I just thought those were funny and stupid as heck. Um, and I know I probably seem like so pressed and like offended by those stitches. I know it's the internet. You're gonna get that kind of stuff. The only thing that really bothered me is that they were completely and totally making fun of and invalidating the fact that, um, I am insecure. Like they don't care. They just thought it was so funny. So that does bother me. And I think that if you are comfortable doing that, you're not a very good person. Cause I would never, I would never, so... Moving on. <laughs> okay, so this is the part where I kind of get into more serious stuff and I feel like nobody's gonna care, but I feel like I have a responsibility. Um, I've just, you know, I've been through a lot of really, really serious things in my life that a lot of girls have. And I feel like it is my responsibility with the amount of followers I have to share sometimes so that other girls can remember that they're not alone, that I've been through it too. I'm going through it, it's okay. And have kind of a safe place to like know that it's okay to like share. Um, cause I, I, there's so many things I want to share and talk about. Yes, it is my personal private business, but also at the same time, I just have this like urge inside of me to, you know, let other girls know because when I was going through a lot of these things, nobody talked about it. Um, which was really hard for me. So that's kind of has to do with what I'm going to talk about right now. I would like to give a trigger warning. Um, I'm going to be talking about eating disorders, body dysmorphia, grooming, and, you know, fat shaming, body shaming. So, uh, there's just a, you know, trigger warning for that because I don't want anyone to, like, get into it and things come up unexpectedly that might upset you. So, there's that for you. 
Okay, so they all said I wasn't allowed to be insecure with my body, uh, that it was stupid, I was lying, I'm obsessed with myself, how could you ever be insecure with that body? Um, and I don't owe anyone an explanation, but like I said, I do enjoy sharing. And I have had a lot of people who follow me say they would love to know more about my life, story, and personal things because I post about it sometimes. Um, never post full story, full details because it is a lot of it is really serious. So I feel like I have a comfortability of being very vulnerable and just open. So we're gonna talk about it a little bit. And I know this isn't like what you guys expected, but also I feel like it's necessary to explain everything. So we're gonna get into it. So I'm not allowed to be insecure according to everyone who watched that video. Um, and that's what I wanna talk about. So I made a response video to my TikTok trying to talk about the fact that I am insecure even though I have this body and tried to give like a few reasons for it but like I didn't do a very good job and I was very vague because I was very nervous about sharing these things and I was very nervous about you know well they're still gonna say I'm lying so I just want to put all that to rest and just get into it okay anybody can be insecure with their body it doesn't matter if you're Kim Kardashian it doesn't matter if you're me it doesn't matter if you're just I don't even know some random person like it doesn't matter what you look like you can still be insecure and I feel like a lot of people have a hard time um, accepting that because you see someone that you wish you looked like and when they say they're insecure it makes you angry because you don't have that I really don't I understand where it comes from in a sense but also I just feel like it's very unfair to the person that you're looking at and I don't want to say people wish they look like me or anything like that I don't wish I looked like me sometimes most of the time there's sometimes when I find the beauty in myself and I feel comfortable and confident in my own skin. But um, as I get older, that's more and more rare. And I struggle with that heavily. Um, but it's just unfair to me for people to assume that I'm not allowed to have my own personal issues with my body because they like the way my body looks. That's not okay. Um, and I want to like kind of get into where the root of my insecurities come from because I have a lot of people asking from that video, what reason do you have to be insecure? That's what everyone wants to know. What reason do you have to be insecure? Uh, and I think I have some pretty good ones. <laughs> so, so I'm gonna get into it. Um, I've always had this more curvy adult figure since I was like, I don't know, 13, it kind of started, you know, everybody telling me how pretty I was and like all these things and, I thought they were so nice and sweet and you know, I was pretty comfortable in my body at the time I never had any issues with my body. I didn't think anything of it. I was perfectly comfortable in my own skin I honestly I was pretty confident for my age. Like, I was like, yeah, I'm pretty, you know, like, mm, you know, whatever um, And then it kind of started in like seventh grade when high school boys were making They were sexualizing my body at school Seventh grade and I was just kind of taken back because I was like, is this normal? And they didn't do it to any of the girls. Like any of the other girls, they didn't do it. I was the only seventh grader that that was happening to. So I was like, well, does that mean I'm pretty? Uh, I don't know. Like I didn't know what to think. And I couldn't talk to anybody about it, obviously. So that's kind of where it all started. Um, and then when I was like 14, I started having like a little flingy thing with a guy, I think he was 18. Yeah, <laughs> it's so healthy for you. No, it's not. Um, and a lot of people would blame that on me and be like, that's your own fault. Like, why would you like him if he was that much older than you? Um, what you have to understand is that when you're being groomed, it's a, a mentally challenging situation. And when you're a kid, a, I was a literal child. I was a child. You just, Think that the older person knows best and you think it's okay and when they tell you this is wrong or this is okay you believe them it's like a parent you know um so that kind of started when I was 14 and it went until I was 17 um and he was very damaging to my self-image and like my body extremely like extremely because first off why would a freaking senior in high school be looking at 
a 14 year old's body in the first place and like wanting them like that's really weird and so it kind of left me kind of messed up because I could tell that it was different because none of the other girls my age were talking to guys that old you know but I kept it a secret because he told me to so I couldn't share it with anyone which was the most damaging part because I think someone would have helped me if they'd known uh, but he called me fat. Yeah, that's the root of all the problems, honestly, I think. <laughs> I, I don't know. <laughs> like, he literally said I had gotten fat. And so that's when my eating disorder started at a young age. Um, and from then on, I've just had horrible, horrible, horrible issues with my self-image. Um, because I don't see my body as quite beautiful anymore. Like, I really don't. And it's really sad. And I wish I didn't feel like that. I wish I didn't. I wish I could see in myself what everybody else sees. Um, but since that happened, you know, and people be like, oh, it happened years ago. Like, get over it. I, my brain was literally not even, like, developed. Like, I was a child. It's so hard to get out of that. Like, you can't even understand. And the way that my body looked and has looked for years, it caused a lot of, uh, problems for me in a sense of like consent and things like that because uh, nobody really cared what I had to say you know they just their eyes or you know everywhere else like they didn't care um yeah so it really messed a lot of things up for me so my body I am very insecure about it I'm very uncomfortable with it and then there's the big question why are you doing uh, OnlyFans if you're so insecure, <laughs> which I don't know how to answer. <laughs> I don't know how to answer that. I really don't. Um, it's built my confidence a little because, you know, it's nice that people might want to see me. Like, you know, oh, you know, that makes me a little more confident. And it really doesn't bother me to do OnlyFans, even though I am insecure with my body. I'm just like, well, people seem to like it. So I guess, like, it must not be too bad, <laughs> but it doesn't fully fix uh, the like mental and emotional damage that has been done to me from such a young age because I had boobs, I guess, I don't know. But the video on TikTok kind of did me over the edge because of all the people saying I had no right to be insecure. Um, and I try not to let comments bother me too much, but it was just insane. That's all I have to say about that. Like, it, there was so many things about me. It's like, you don't even know me. Don't know me. And you want to say that. Okay. It was really weird. I don't know what else I have to say about the video. Uh, so, in conclusion, I just wanted to come on here and talk about the video. The meanings behind the video. The things that I deal with personally related to the video. The comments, the stitches, the duets. Um, I just wanted to like share my, not my side of it, cause it's not like there was some drama or anything. Just kind of like share and give you guys a bit of insight on my like mental thought that went into the video. Um, yeah, so that's basically what this was for. Um, if, if you stayed until the end here to watch the whole thing, I appreciate it. I'm happy that you were interested. And um, I appreciate everyone who liked the video, who followed me from the video, who commented something nice. That meant the world to me. No, I wasn't fishing for your compliments, but it was really nice and, you know, it really made my day. And, like, you know, when I'm kind of feeling down, I'll go back and look at those comments and just, like, you know, kind of just, like, glance over them to, like, remind myself that this is what people see in me. It is my brain is lying to me when I see someone completely different in the mirror. Um, if you are struggling with any of the heavy topics that I talked about in this video, like an eating disorder, body dysmorphia, um, grooming, which happened to me, things like that, um, you know, feel free to talk to someone about it. You should talk to someone about it. It really helps. Uh, part of the reason that my view on my body is so severe at this point in my life is because I didn't talk to anyone about it until I was like 17. So that that just wasn't good for me. So I highly recommend that you talk to someone about it a friend a parent doesn't matter who someone you trust I appreciate the support on the video for the people who commented rude things. 
your comments didn't really phase me. They were interesting to me, but they didn't really phase me. To the two people who I mentioned that do edit or made fun of my video with their own, um, I think you guys should find something better to do with your time than to make light of the way I struggle with my body image and I think that you guys should find some security in yourselves instead of like tearing other people down. I don't think that's very healthy for you or for the people around you. And I think it kind of sheds light on who you are as a person. So I did want to touch on that a little bit. Um, but I appreciate you guys. I love you guys. And if you hated this video, I'm sorry. I just wanted to talk about something like actually important for once. I will be back to YouTube again with something more lighthearted. Um, which I hope you will be here for. I've been super inactive on TikTok recently simply because I have been busy and haven't really known what to post. Uh, but hopefully I can like get back into it and also Instagram as well. So keep watching out. You can find me on all of my social medias at Clara00Ellis. That's my social media name for everything. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to subscribe, like the video if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment, let me know your thoughts on the whole thing. I'd love to hear some feedback on it. Um, I love you guys. Thank you so much.